The ocean is full of fascinating sea creatures, from puffer fish who make art to lure in the love of their life. But must work 24 hours a day for a week, or the current will destroy his creation. To the Magna Pina squid that still lives rent free in my head. That's the most terrifying thing that I've seen. The green light doesn't help, that's yucky. Some of these creatures are a bit scary to look at, but they're still fascinating nonetheless. Welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. And today on What the F*** Wednesdays, we're gonna find out what the f*** this fish is. Let's talk about it. The deep sea anglerfish is just a sample of how terrifying the ocean can truly be, while also being the most fascinating. Living at depths over 6,000 feet, the anglerfish lives in complete darkness like Vin Diesel from that movie Pitch Black that came out in 2000. It was first discovered back in 1833 when it washed ashore in Greenland. It was then taken to Johannes Christopher Hagman Reinhardt in Denmark. Now, it was first referred to as the football fish or the man gobbler. <coughs> man gobbler, yep, I said that. This thing looks exhausted right off the bat. This looks like a tired fish. In its current state of evolution, this fish is totally having a Monday. This is the Monday of its evolution right now. They're also known as sea devils. So these sea devils have quite the smile, but they don't often get a chance to show it. Finding prey that deep below the surface is quite the task. The ocean life is quite sparse when it comes to meals of your choosing, and it's dark as f So you gotta kind of feel your way around. So this is what makes the deep sea anglerfish amazing. The deep sea anglerfish is referred to as the fish that fishes. Have you ever asked your fish for other fishes? Kanye West. And it's all thanks to the disco ball of death that they have on their forehead. If you get a weird feeling in your stomach looking at this fish, that's because like me, you were also probably young when you saw Finding Nemo in theaters. And this thing straight up almost ate Dory and Marlin. It was terrifying. It starts out as a beautiful scene. They're swimming in the dark, they're singing along, they're humming, and then they see this magical glowing ball. And it makes them bond at first. They're playing with it, they're laughing, they're having a good time. Even Marlin's like, you know what? Forget my lost kid. We're gonna play volleyball with this magical orb for a bit. Nemo? Who's Nemo? <laughs> Nemo? Forget about him. And then out of nowhere, this scary Tim Burton looking fish comes over and then makes every kid in the theater cry. Female anglerfish have a glowing lure on top of their head, just a female. And this thing is awesome. It's like straight out of Avatar. It's this pole with a light. Now this light is created due to bioluminescent bacteria. Thousands of fish have it, but the deep sea anglerfish uses it to hunt. Draws fish in right in front of its massive mouth. And these fish will see the light go towards it. And then moments later, they'll see another light. The light of the fish lords, that is. The spiny dorsal fin hangs over their head. It's an organ called an esca. It emits photophore light and its main method of hunting is this disco ball. It has to be dazzling because, well, this fish lacks speed. Plus it lives in complete darkness, so they have to move slowly and rely on their senses in order to hunt. And as for prey, well, I mean, she'll take whatever she can get, no matter how big. It probably ate it head first because this thing probably came in to look at the light that the anglerfish has. And then the anglerfish grabbed it and then sort of swallowed it in its stomach has expanded to sort of fit it all in. The deep sea anglerfish can expand their jaw and their stomach. They can eat prey that's twice the size of them. Once you're in, you're tucked in for life. You're not getting out anywhere. Those massive teeth will make it very hard to get out of the angler's grasp. The teeth actually redirect the fish into its mouth. That's the scary part of this evolution. So either way, you're kind of doomed. The glowing lure also draws in a couple of bachelors as well. See, the males aren't equipped with the natural lure of light, and when they reach their adulthood, their digestive system no longer functions properly. So it needs one of these leading ladies to survive. Which brings us to the topic of mating. Ocean life is amazing, especially when it comes to reproducing. I mean, some of these fish, it's so alien, it's so amazing how nature works. Like the Suriname toad, for example, this female toad hatches eggs out of her back. After three to four months, the little Suriname toads wake up and crawl out of the pockets on mom's back. I'm so itchy watching this. Or a seahorse, they just blast thousands of children out into the wild. Just, huh. It's like the kid that doesn't stop sneezing in class. You're like, still? How many more do you got? Ocean life is so fascinating. But what makes the anglerfish's love life so unique is that the males will be attached for life. And I mean that in a literal sense. They'll find a suitable mate and bite into her stomach. Their skin will fuse together and their blood will be the same. How insane is that? They just fuse together. Like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm a Libra. That's awesome. What are the odds? They just melt together. It's wild. Only a few years ago, we got footage of a mating pair and it's crazy. Check this out. 
Here we have a fan fin sea devil, and already on its own, this fish is remarkable. It looks like something you'd see in a Ridley Scott movie. It's, it's beautiful. It's swimming around slowly, and although it's hard to see, the male is in there as well. Now the males are much smaller than the female, and they survive purely on the nutrients from the female's blood. Little vampires. They're parasitic almost. Their entire life goal is to find a mate to do all their work for them. Because it can't really hunt and eat on its own either, because, well, look at the thing. Look at him! He's not scary at all. He looks like he just peed in your pool and now he's lying about it. He's not menacing enough, so evolution decided not to give him the light bulb of life, so now he just has to piggyback his way through existence. Must be nice. There are many types of deep sea anglerfish. Currently, scientists have identified 168 different types of this haunting fish. Now, one of the most rare was found off the coast of West Africa. It was a foot and a half long and its glowing antenna was actually inside of its mouth. How scary is that? No, thank you. With over 80% of the ocean left undiscovered, I can't even imagine what other types of terrifying creatures lie beneath. But for now, we have quite a bit to take a look at. Guys, what are some other things that make you say, what the f***? Let us know down in the comments below, and then we can talk about it some more. Thank you for joining us on Life's Biggest Questions. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time on What the F*** Wednesday. Stay safe, my friends. Peace.